In this video, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite over and under 1.5 goals trading strategies for the Betfair Exchange. This is a strategy that is an oldie but a goodie and is definitely worth a look if you like trading the goal markets on Betfair. And of course, we have real life demonstrations so you can see the strategy in action for yourself. Go grab a nice cold beer and let's get into it. Time really flies and it was around four years ago, almost to the day, that we put this video up on YouTube demonstrating a great strategy for the over and under one and a half goals markets and it proved to be a very popular video. I even had a trader contact me some months later telling me he was using it as his main strategy and had scaled up to four figure stakes using it and he sent me the screenshots to prove it. Anyway, after four years, it's time to take another look at this strategy. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video today. And by the way, we're still giving this system away for absolutely free as a PDF. And the link to get a copy of it is in the description below. If you don't already have this one in your collection, go do that now. If you submit your email address, it should be in your inbox by the time the video is done. So you can try this strategy out for yourself. We have had quite a lot of requests, especially over the past four years, from subscribers asking us to expand on this strategy, add more detail to it, etc., etc., and do some sort of paid course or paid premium version of it. So you never know if we'll do that in the future. And if we do, we'll have to take the freebie away. So grab it now while you still can. The link is in the description of the video. But the strategy that we're looking at is well, it's what you saw on the previous page. It's the Gold Trader 1.5. And the aim of the strategy is to enter the market and not just cash out or lock in a profit at, at any point after a goal. The aim is to maximize the profits and win 100% of our stake. And you're going to see it ex explained in just a moment. But that's the idea. We're trying to maximize our profits as much as, you, as, much as we can. And it doesn't get much better than winning your whole stake, okay? Normally, people are like, well, I got in with a trade. I made a 10% return. I made a 30% return, 50% return on my stake. In this case, we're trying to make a 100% return on our stake. So the idea is, is that we look for a match where we're expecting one or two goals in the second half. And you're probably going to enter at halftime or early in the second half. And you're going to look to lay under one and a half goals and then once you've laid it you're going to set a stop loss exit point if there are no goals scored so for example we could lay under one and a half goals when under one and a half goals has a price of 1.5 we could set our stop loss exit point to be 1.1 and then we will exit if there's no goal scored we just exit if it gets to 1.1 and try to minimize our loss that's the idea behind trading but if one goal is scored, this is where the magic happens. We move our stop loss point to our entry price. So if our entry price was to lay under one and a half goals at 1.5, our new stop loss point after a goal will be 1.5. So if we laid at 1.5, the new stop loss point will be 1.5. And this is called a trailing stop loss. This is commonly used in a lot of the financial markets. I know a lot of crypto traders were using this during all the crypto madness of last year, buying certain crypto coins, watching the price increase and knowing that, you know, if it goes back to the price they bought at, well, they'll just sell it and they won't have made any loss. So that's the idea. It's, it's, it's trailing stop loss. And that's what we're doing with this on the over and under one and a half goals market. And by the way, we've got real life demonstrations coming up. So if this does sound a little bit confusing, they're coming up and don't worry about that. Although I'm, I'm sure some have already skipped along to that bit. Now, if a second goal is scored once, we, once our lay has been taken and before we hit that stop loss, then we're going to win 100% of our stake. So once that goal goes in, we're not cashing out. We're not removing liability even or even giving ourselves a free bet. We are letting it run to see if we can get that second goal. And if that second goal is scored, we're going to win 100% of our stake. Okay. And so the idea is, is that one goal after we've been matched is going to put us into a no lose position if we're disciplined enough. OK, and we don't let it run and we don't start to gamble. So all we need really is one goal 
to be scored, puts us in a low, no lose position, and we're getting almost a free shot at winning a hundred percent of our stake. If the second goal doesn't transpire, we'll just exit at our entry point and not take any loss at all. Okay, simple as that. But anyway, I think it's best to get into some real life demonstrations where you can see this over and under one and a half goal strategy for yourself if you think that sounds good and you want us to dive into it right now then i would really love it if you could click the like button to support the channel remember we make these videos for free for your education and your entertainment and all we ask for in return is you click the like button to support the channel and to support the algorithm it's as simple as that okay and while you're there hit the subscribe button so you get all our new videos as soon as they come out okay Go grab a nice cold beer and let's check out some real life demonstrations of this over and under one and a half goals trading strategy. So half time in this one, it's nil nil. And well, actually the second half is just kicking off now. So anyway, we want to get matched laying under one and a half goals and we want to go in at 1.5. Okay, and, and I, I, I do always stress it doesn't have to be 1.5. I know a lot of people see us use 1.5 for this method and think that that's some sort of magic sweet spot. It doesn't, it just makes it a lot easier for the demonstration. You could go in here at 1.66, you could go in at 1.6, you could go in at 1.4, it's, it's totally up to you. But we're going with 1.5 and that'll be matched within the first 10 minutes of the second half and then we're looking for goals. Let's see what happens, this is from the Turkish league, Kasera Spore against Antalya Spore. Let's see what happens next. 54 minutes on the clock and we've got a goal. It's gone to the home team, Kayseri Spore. So remember, we laid under one and a half goals at 1.5. Now that price has shot up to 3.1. And you can take a look at that here. So let me show you again. The cash out currently showing 53 pounds that we could lock in guaranteed. However, one more goal and you've got the full 100 pounds of profit waiting. Okay, so with this particular method anyway the idea is we're gonna move the stop loss to our entry point which was 1.5 so the stop loss is going to be around here now ideally just before it and as this price ticks back down if it gets back to 1.5 we will just exit out of the market at that particular point and not take any loss so if you're following this method securely you've got the one goal now you should not take any loss on this it's just a matter of whether we can make that full £100 profit or we just get a scratch trade. So let's see what happens. 1-0, 55 minutes on the clock. And so you can see here we've, we've got to the 83rd minute and we haven't got that next goal that we were looking for. So at that point, we can just exit out. Okay, we've been in the market long enough and we don't want to expose ourselves any longer. And so this is what you could do. Just exit out for a scratch trade. It's 83 minutes on the clock. Obviously, it takes a fair bit of discipline. There's going to be a lot of people saying, oh, do you know what? Let's just let it run. Um, but if you're going to have a system, if you're going to have a method, a strategy, you have to stick with it and stick with it uh, at, to the absolute. So anyway, you, you know how it works. We went in with the lay 1.5. We got the goal. We moved our stop loss point. We've hit our stop loss. So we've got out. We've got out with no, uh, no loss. No loss at all. Scratch trade on this one. Kayseri Spore 1 and Talia Spore 0. And here's an example of what happens when there's no goals at all. The under one and a half goals is going to tick down and our stop loss point that we designated was going to be 1.1. And so we have to manually exit on, on the football exchanges. So it's close enough to 1.1. So I may as well just exit now rather than waiting the extra two ticks. And let me just show you. We back, we laid with 100. We're going to back, not with 1,000. We're going to back with 100. So let's just get that in. And me being so... Okay, yeah, actually, we got matched. So we got matched there at 1.12. So that's going to leave us with minus £38 if it remains under one and a half goals. Or we could cash out and take a smaller loss of uh, around £34. Okay, that's up to you. I remember in the old video, we suggested to cash out and lock in that loss at this particular point. However, it's quite a neglig negligible loss. So you could just leave it on under one and a half goals knowing that if you do get two late goals well actually you're going to get a surprise break even event happening so anyway that's what we're going to do we're just going to leave it on this one but that's just an example of how you would exit okay and that's part of the discipline 
of trading when you have your entry point you've got to set your stop loss point and then when it gets there if you're a beginner you're going to be tempted and think well I should just let it run but why not this time and that's always going to have you're always going to have that voice in your head but as a disciplined trader you need to have your stop loss point and you need to stick to it always stick to your stop loss point have a plan and stick to it so anyway that just shows you how you exit out when there's no goals let's check out some more examples so it's half time here Millwall against QPR and this is the over and under one on a half goals market currently 1.65 to lay we're going to put in an order at 1.5 and we're going to put that in and that'll be taken in the first like 10 minutes of the second half and then we're in action then we're looking for a goal and then once we get that first goal we'll be in a position where we can't lose because we're going to exit if it hits 1.5 again so it's just a matter of seeing if we can make that full profit or nothing Anyway, it's Millwall nil, QPR nil, heading into the second half. 53 minutes in, and there's been a goal. It's gone to QPR. So QPR have taken the lead in this one, and this is really good timing, actually. I think we literally just got matched. Let's, let's take a look at the chart and just see. Yeah, I mean, look at that. We've got, it went down to 1.47. So, yeah, it just about got matched there at 1.5. So ideal timing okay so we're going to get like the maximum amount of time in the market to get that second goal there is that cash out available of 50 pounds but we are looking for more than that so we're looking to double that so we're looking to make 100 so let's see what happens 53 minutes in plenty of time we're looking for one more goal to be scored and we'll take home that full profit if not once under one and a half it's 1.5 we're, we're exiting out for no loss at all Let's see what happens. Millwall nil, QPR one. And 70 minutes on the clock. QPR have just made it 2 nil. So we we take home that whole profit. Let me try and bring up this chart actually before the market closes. Just to show you what happened there. Okay, so obviously the goal went in. The odds rose to three. And they went pretty much down to 1.99. That's the last price match. So nowhere near our, our exit point. And so instead of taking what was that £50 cash out, we've just made the full the full amount of money just by hanging in there a little bit longer. OK, so there you have it. Millwall nil, QPR 2. And if you just head to the two and a half goals market, you'll see that's open, that's active. And so you've kind of got an idea of how this strategy works and uh, successful trade there. Millwall nil, QPR 2. Half time in this match and it's 1-0 to the away team. So there's been one goal in this match. So we just do the same method, but on the two and a half goals market. So um, let's put the order in. I'm going to put it in there at 1.5. And we're just getting involved on that two and a half goals market. The same rule. We're just looking for two goals. Two goals will close this market. So if there's already been one goal, you just head up to the two and a half goals market and do it from there. So we put the order in. Should get matched early in the second half. And let's see how it plays out from here. 62 minutes on the clock and Newells have gone 2-0 up. Okay, so that has shot the price up on under 2.5 goals up to 2.48. And as I said, it's going to behave exactly the same way as if we were doing this on the 1.5 goals market. Um, so let me just show you, we were pretty much in at 1.5. It didn't really go down that far, down to around 1.4 before the goal. It shot up and now, as you can see, we've got £37 on the cash out. But we're trying to get that full 100 so let's see if we can get a goal before this price on under two and a half goals hits 1.5 plenty of time to do it let's see what happens and here we are on 72 minutes and there has been another goal it has gone 2-1 okay it has gone 2-1 so that score obviously and the, the bet fair score is always way behind but yeah this one has gone 2-1 so aldo civi have pulled one back and newell's old boys are leading 2-1 so as you saw there, as you got a glimpse, we take home the whole 100. OK, and let's just move up to the three and a half goals market just so you can take a look and you can now see that is active. OK, that is active. Betfair score is way behind. I know a lot of people always say, oh, what's going on there? The Betfair score isn't matching up with the videos. Well, the Betfair score is always way behind and it can be incorrect. So do keep that in mind when you're trading. So anyway, as you saw there, we got that first goal around 57 minutes. Second goal on 72 minutes and we took home the whole profit okay we didn't have to we didn't have to cash out or anything and there's confirmation of the goal for all all of the doubters out there okay so full profit taken home 100 pounds and just a good example 
that you do it on the two and a half goals market it works the same as if you did it on the one and a half goals market okay it's as simple as that you're just moving up the markets so here we are, Alder City 2, Alder City 1, Neil's Old Boys 2, 74 minutes on the clock. And so now you've seen it in action, you can give it a go for yourself. And as mentioned earlier on, you can download a free copy of the PDF. The link to this is in the description of the video. So just scroll down, click through, put in your very best email address, and then uh, we will email it right to you. Okay, it has to be your very best real email address, a fake email address it won't work and we'll email it right to you and the pdf can be very very handy if you are going to try this method in the markets you can just refer to the pdf follow the instructions and go from there much easier than trying to refer back to this video and of course this video won't be up forever but the pdf you can keep forever so uh yeah just click the uh, link below the video and put in your very best email address to get a copy of that However, if you're an experienced football trader, I'm pretty sure you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. There are some criticisms of the strategy which I really think that we should address. And this is what this channel is all about. We don't just sit here and say, oh, this is amazing and that strategy is great and put your house on that strategy. There are pros and cons to every strategy. And so I'm going to address some of these uh, for, for this particular one. Now, number one is that this strategy is going to have a low strike rate and so i know there'll be some people thinking well i don't mind a low strike rate as long as it's profitable and it will make me money in the long term however a lot of beginners aren't really fans of low strike rates and i've seen this a lot in my in my communications and my emails so when, when you have a strategy that has a low strike rate it also means long losing runs could potentially happen so with, with this sort of trade you could easily have four or five in a row where Maybe they're not all losers, but it could be two free scratch trades and then two free uh, of, of losers at the same time. So you could go a while without hitting a winner. And a lot of beginners aren't going to enjoy that. And so that is something to keep in mind. And when there is a strategy that has a low strike rate, you have to absolutely be honest with yourself and ask yourself, will you stick with this strategy when it goes through a losing run? understanding it's got a low strike rate but it's easier said than done when you're actually in the midst of it and you see maybe five in a row have lost or, or you haven't profited from five in a row at the very least will you keep going with that not a lot of people will so that's something to keep in mind if you are a beginner also you're giving yourself a limited time window to get that goal and again similarly you, you kind of understand the principle of why we do it we're doing it so we don't take a loss and we can scratch out the trade and so on and so on however there's a lot of traders who enjoy being involved in the business end of matches and those final 10 minutes and injury time especially so for those types of traders do you want to exit out before the business end knowing if you exit out for either a loss or a scratch trade, the goal you were looking for might fly in straight away. And for a lot of beginners, again, that's very, very frustrating. So if you are a beginner, that's something to keep in mind. It's probably frustrating for even the experienced traders at the same time. But this is just a, a little bit of a forewarning for those who are new to football trading. Also, and this kind of goes hand in hand with the two above, Huge discipline is needed. Now, you could argue huge discipline is needed in football trading or any sports trading, no matter what. However, with this sort of strategy, which is going to have a low strike rate, you've also got to be disciplined to stick to the time window and, and exit out when you hit those stop loss points. And so you can imagine that your typical beginner is probably going to lose their discipline a fair amount. If you've just had two or three losers in a row and then you get a goal and you're thinking, well, do I want to let this run and I can end up in another scratch trade? Or I could just take that profit that is right there. So on this time, I'm just going to take the profit. Suddenly, your discipline's gone because if you're going to start to mix and match with the strategies, you're not really sticking to the strategy, are you? So keep that in mind that huge discipline is definitely needed for this strategy. But as I said, huge discipline is needed for all strategies, no matter what. Either way, get the PDF, get in the market, try it with some small stakes. Always try it with small stakes when you're starting out. And if you're 
a fan of football trading on the Betfair exchange or just sports trading in general, we've got another really good video on the screen for you right now. A lot of people have really enjoyed this video, found it really, really useful. So click on that video. Go check it out if you haven't seen it already. And I will see you on the other side. I'll see you on, on the other video.